Quillen, and I'm here with the new Let's Play series. So this is a series for like if you have grandparents and you want your grandparents to play Minecraft, this kind of like show them this video so they uh pretty much learn how to play Minecraft. So when you first start off, you start off with, or you can just use it to watch yourself, uh, like learn how to play for yourself. But I just I'm saying for your grandparents because I don't know. Okay, but when you first get on, uh, when you first open up Minecraft, you'll see this tile screen. If you want to go on multiplayer, you'd have to add some servers, but I'll get to that later. First, you uh, click single player and create new world. Type in what the name you want to be. Uh, Okay, so there, type in the name. You can go to more world options, put in a seed to make, like, yeah. Loud cheats on, off. No, I'm just going to do no, no cheats, sponge chests, and off. And I'm going to create a new world. And then it's loading. And you just got to wait for a little bit. One second. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. I was my ah dang. This is a really bad seed. You don't usually spawn in lava. So I'm gonna make a new world. Okay. So title screen. Single player. New world. And then also you can choose what game mode you want. So survival says uh, search for resources, crafting, gain he gain levels, health, and and there's health and hunger. Hardcore is same as survival mode, but it's locked at the hardest level. And if you die, you can't respawn. It just deletes the world. And creative, uh, unlimited resources, free flying, and destroying blocks instantly. And yeah, you can't die. So Okay, this is better. So first thing that I wanna do is I want oh well first of all the controls to move forward are W to move forward, space to jump, A to move left, D to move right, and S to move backwards, and move the mouse to move around your head. And to sprint, you double click, double click W and hold it down. Oh, sorry, I made the world on creative. Wait one second. And So, you want to walk up to a tree, left, hold down left click while your little, uh, the, uh, at the, like, crossbar thing on the middle is face pointing at the wood block. So, you just want to chop down a tree. And then what you want to do once you're done chopping down the tree, where's that wood? Okay, is you want to left click it, drag it over here, and click it again. Then you can hold down Shift, or you can act. No, you just left click it, left click it again, left click it again, left click it again, left click it again, and again. Or you can just click it over and over and over again. And so I'm going to chop down a few trees and then build a house because you got to build a house before 
it becomes night. Night is around. It take a day is around ten minutes, and night is also ten minutes. So yeah. Hold on a second. Let me turn down the sound. So, I'm going to drop down a few more of these, a few more blocks of wood, and then I'm going to go to the desert just because I like the desert biome, and I'm going to build my house in the desert, so, oh, pumpkins. So, yeah, first I'm going to grab a pumpkin, and I'm going to kill a pig. Actually, instead of building a house right away, what I suggest you do is you just walk up to a cliff that's two blocks high, or more than two blocks high, and you just dig out a hole. And then you just right click, right click, right click, and right click to make a crafting table. Then in here, right click and right click to make sticks. Again again now I made a pickaxe now I can break stone with pickaxe and collect the stone now I'm just making a small hole to survive my first night in cuz yeah so now I'm gonna make a stone pickaxe And now I can mine faster. <clears throat> and I can also mine iron with the stone pickaxe. Grab this. And oh, also, um, you right click to place stuff, place blocks. So I broke this, the crafting table. And I see I have it in my hand because oh, also to so the pumpkin is on the first slot of my hotbar, second slot, third slot, fourth slot, fifth slot, sixth slot, seventh slot, eighth slot, and ninth slot. So, and that just works with, so, the, the number buttons, so, one would put it on one, the two button would put it on two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, I'm going to put it on the five, and then I'm going to right click, and I'm going to place it, I'm going to right click it again, and I'm going to craft a chest. I'm going to craft two of these. I'm gonna shift right click and you can get them both really quickly. I'm just building a little hole. And also what I need to build is a door. So, I have my little house. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look into the, uh, walk around in the desert for a little bit. Because, um, you can find these things called desert temples. Or villages. And they can, some, village, pig, don't kill yourself. By the way, these are cactuses. And if you walk up against them, they will kill you.
Ah, look, there's a village, a desert village, just my luck. So I can come here, and sometimes the villages have blacksmiths, and blacksmiths have chests in them, so you can, uh, like, take from the chests. And also, desert temples have chests in them also. See, this one doesn't, this village doesn't appear to have a blacksmith. No, it does not. So that's not the greatest, but uh, they still have torches, which is what you use for light. And you can trade with the villagers. And also, if you get wool, which is this, this is just black wool, you can make, um, what's it called? Beds. And also, the, the uh, villages have farms, and you can take from them. So this one is carrots. Carrots, affected the carrots. This one is potatoes. And this one is wheat. These ones you cannot harvest and get wheat until they look like this. So I get one, and I get the wheat. Here's another one, I get the wheat. And another, I get the wheat. You need three wheat in a crafting table. Like, be one there, wait, one there, one there, and like one right here to make one piece of bread. Yeah. And sometimes you have a chance of getting a poisonous potato when you're uh, picking the potatoes because I don't know that just is. A chance and okay here's some carrots um ah here Oh, also, you can cook potatoes to make baked potatoes. And, yeah, so, oh, here's a well. It's just a little well. So, oh, there's a desert temple. That's also good. So desert temples, what you want to do is when you find one, you want to grab your pickaxe or no, don't grab your pickaxe. Just walk up and go through here. Go here. You might think there's something suspicious under the floor under the blue wool. You don't want to go under the blue wool. You want to break one of these corner walls because if you go on the blue under the blue wool, you're, you'll get on that pressure plate, which will trigger the TNT that's below here, and will blow up this whole place. But in these, there's four chests. They don't always have good stuff, but this one did have some good stuff. Yeah, some, not too much. Um, so yeah, so, but then under all of these is TNT. So you don't want to, remember, you don't want to hit the blue one. So now I'm just going to place blocks to get up. Aha, now it's becoming night. And you can tell because the moon is coming up and the sun's going down. So I want to go back to the house that I built or the little hole in the mountain I want to go there as quickly as possible oh yeah when you're walking through water or swimming you have to hold down spa the space bar 
to uh what's it called? Uh stay and not sink. And also so above my hot bar is my heart are those hearts. You have ten hearts. And that's your health. Um, I came in like this, right? Over here. Yeah. Okay, so that's your health. And then next to it are these things that look like like drumsticks. And that's your food. So you need food like this, like carrots, because one second. You need food because if you don't have it, ah, uh, there's a zombie. Uh, if you don't have food, then you will die of hunger. You don't need water though, because you won't die of thirst. Just, just Minecraft isn't that realistic. There's a skeleton. He has a bow. He can shoot me. Okay, these are creepers. Oh, that's all a giant spider. But the green one is a creeper. And it will come up and blow up like that. And it will take damage and see how I've taken damage. What I want. Ah, oh, another. Oh. oh. So, what I want to do is I want to run from the creepers because the creepers are bad. They will kill you. You don't want to be killed. So, come in here. I place torches. And then I got to eat. I eat by putting food in my hand and then holding down right click until my food bar is filled up. And then once my food bar is filled up, my hearts will regenerate. So I have TNT, wood, iron, gold. So now I gotta wait till day. But that's boring, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out and kill the sheep. And get the one wool that dropped. And then I grab the two black wool and the wood. And I'm going to make a bed. Instead of using the brown wool, I decided I'm going to use the orange and black wool since it's near Halloween. But to place the wood right here, any kind of wood and any kind of uh, wool, you can make a bed. Then you grab the bed, you need two space, uh, like a space of two blocks. So I'm gonna place it right here. I place the bed, and I right click to get in it, and I just wait until that pops up, and it's morning. Wait one second. Okay, I'm back. So now it's more, oh, Enderman. So that was an Enderman. See him right there? If you look at their eyes, you don't want to do that, but if you look at their eyes, you can see him at the corner of my screen, but if you look at directly at him, he will attack you. You don't like that because they do a lot of damage, and they will uh, grab blocks and mess with stuff, so yeah, that's not good either. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to grab all my stuff, I'll make some sticks and I'm gonna make some tools. First tool that I want is a sword. Because I need to protect myself. Then I want a pickaxe and a axe. And a shovel. And that's why I make all those. So I have that. I want to use my axe to break this. Take my bed with me. And take my door. Now I'm going to go over here. Ooh, look. Look what I found. A horse. Perfect. But I can't ride it or tame it because I don't have a saddle, even though I have horse armor. But, so...
And once you kill a creeper, they'll sometimes drop gunpowder, which you use to create TNT. Or dynamite, either one. Um, but what I'm looking for is a cave. I want a cave because then I would be able to um, find ores like iron ore, gold ore, and eventually diamond ore. There's some donkeys. And now my I can't sprint because my health bar is too low. So I need to eat some carrots. And that will happen. So I want to look around and try to find the cave. Then I'll go into the cave and start mining. Then I'll show you how to make a furnace. Here's some regular wood, oak wood. You can just use it in how you normally use it. And then just craft it like that. Just has a different color than this wood. Oh, also, I need some meat because it does a lot more. It fills up a lot more of my hunger bar than. Uh, then. Ooh, here's a cave. Then, uh, what's it called? Carrots. Lava? It's not a long enough cave, so there's nothing. It's a dead end on both ends. Ah, oh, wait. Okay. Gotta climb up. So now I gotta find a different cave so that I can go mining. Here's a better cave. Okay, so got my torches. Nope, it's not. Another dead end. I'm finding a lot of bad caves. the sun is. It's around noon. Okay. So I have around five minutes to find a cave and find a shelter. So I think my best bet to find a cave would be to go into the forest, but I don't know. I need to eat again. So, let's see. I think I, what I just found over there is a ravine. I might be wrong. But ravines, they have a lot of resources, like iron and stuff. And they're deep, though. Yep, here's a ravine. They're hard to get into without dying. Because you will die of fall damage. But if you fall into water, you don't take damage. Except I didn't think that this was that deep. Well here's some coal. Gotta grab this coal so I can make more torches. Cause I'm gonna need a lot of torches.
think that would be enough. See, so I walk over it to it, collect it, and so now I have 18 coal. And so I'm gonna go this way since I thought I saw iron over here. I think now I should go into this cave. First, I should probably do this. Ah, here's some iron already. So you just you need a stone pickaxe to collect iron. You know what I just found? A ravine. Ooh, and here's some lapis. I'm not a ravine, a abandoned mine shaft. And so, let's see. Gotta kill them. They're about to kill me. One second. Let me try something. So, so I don't die. I'm going to do this. Well, okay. Click it okay. until it goes to peaceful, and that means no, all monsters disappear. That's just a bat. Hey, I think I'm breaking. Are you there? Uh, and that's gold, but I need an iron pickaxe to yeah. uh, to break right that there. to collect it. So I found an okay. abandoned mine shaft. Just place a pumpkin to get rid of the lava. There's some redstone, you also need an iron pickaxe. So, well, since I found iron, I want to do this. Place down this workbench or crafting table, either one. Um, and create a furnace. And this is going to be my little base, I guess. Base area. And then furnaces, what you do is you place the coal on the bottom and whatever you want to smelt, like iron, on the top. And then it will show up right here, the, like, uh, iron ingots. This is an iron ingot. And I need three of those to make a craft, uh, not a crafting table, a iron pickaxe. And then I need some sticks. Wait. That's better. Okay, so now. I can go over here. I can collect the redstone. And redstone is like copper wire. It will create a current, an electrical current, 
and that's redstone is kind of complicated so I'm not going to show much of that until later when I get to more of the complicated stuff I guess I was just coming down here to see if there's any diamonds. I thought there would be, but I was wrong. Okay, so now, okay, oh, okay, so this is a, I should probably go down here first. Now, first, I'm going to go over here. This is a spider spawner, so you need your sword to break cobwebs, which these are. These are cave spiders. They will poison you sometimes, so you just grab your pickaxe and create I break the spider spawner, then just keep breaking through the cobwebs till you made your yourself a path, and voila, and voila. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over here because I wanted to look around there. Gold. Oh, diamond. Okay, so this is diamond. It's under the rail, but it's diamond. So you break it with an, a pickaxe and never dig straight down because there might be lava underneath you and you could die. Like I did in the beginning. I, I spawned in lava and died. So I have five diamonds, which means I can go make a, uh, a diamond sword and a diamond pickaxe. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mine some, try to find more diamonds. Actually, no. Uh, right now, I'm just going to collect more iron. And, yeah. Because diamonds are very rare and it's very unlikely that I'll find any. So I'm going to just go back to my little place and build a... Oh, what's it called? Where was it? What I don't like about these abandoned mine shafts is that it is very, they are very complicating, like a maze. But if I just follow the torches, I'll probably be able to find it yet. Here it is. So, sorry about any background noise, like, there's a crash earlier and my little sister's coming in from school. So yeah. Um but yeah. Time and sword. What? Okay, so I'm back. Um Stop. got the diamond pickaxe. I'm going to make the rest of my tools out of iron. I'm going to make an iron, uh, iron axe. And an iron shovel. And I'll place some of this in the chest.
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what I really need. I'm going to take it. I'm going to leave what I don't need. I don't need rotten flesh because it poisons me. I could need seeds. I want the bones. So I can make bone meal. Cobblestone, string, gold, rail, not right now. Emeralds, diamond horse armor, not gold horse armor, gold, potatoes, iron, iron pickaxe, and this. And then I want this, and this, and the door. And I'm going to go build a house in the overworld after I keep exploring this cave that I was in. And what I want is some of this coal. I need some coal. Because um here's the gold. I was looking at earlier. I want some more coal because I need more torches. Um so why is the grass down here? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so it's dead end, so I can pretty much just go back up. So, um, I'm going to come up here, and then it's going to be the end of the episode. So, yeah. <sighs> well, this is the end of episode number one of How to Play Minecraft. And I'll see you later. Bye.